Hi everybody, welcome back to Ephemacraft Season 3 with me Sid and uh, I've just been milking the cows and doing the usual morning chores um, but we've got most of the storage stuff not all of it, but most of it put away um, so let's go in here, you can see I've got um, lots of nicely labelled things the labels and the armour racks c conflict c c c c c conflict so consequently we can't put a label and an armor rack in the same position uh i mean not an armor rack tool rack but we've got a uh, wood uh hostile mob drops passive mob drops although technically i think some of that was from a bear uh, uh, chests uh, any powders gems on that side and that's so far we got on there we've got flowers oh flowers and mushrooms fruit saplings sapling saplings seeds mining pit props fences so yep yeah, getting there steadily i've still got three i've managed to bring myself down to three chests and a random selection in fact let me get these and put these away on a tool rack uh you to do, do uh shears yos chisel yes and poignard probably um yeah so how i actually work my way around it and i kind of finished off the last episode very quickly with um the cryptic hey i've done it um and you know the some of you may may some of you actually may consider this cheating um and if you do well fine absolutely fine i, I basically reprogram the mod <laughs> um yeah if you don't like the rules change them that's uh always a mechanism that works what we got there salt ptu definitely need to find a proper home let me just i'm just what every what i'm kind of doing is every time we get to a point where um a chest is filling up i i kind of pile back in there and you know pop that try and rationalize one chest back into another uh and by doing that in theory have we got any more dusts in there no but we have got those we've got uh, lots of arrows uh do, 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 do. anything else in there that looks like hmm well, let's take out those because those are some berry bushes take out that and then we can pop you and you and you and you back in for now uh because let's have a look the dust you need to go in there we probably probably want actually a i think the snowberry is probably the least useful of those bushes there um, and yeah, then what oh finding finding a home for some of this stuff can be a pain in the bum technically that is a seed kinda so we'll, we'll go with that right jute jute needs to go over into the uh shed now there's been a few suggestions uh, other suggestions things like making more tradesmen shops so butchers maybe uh butchers bakers candlestick makers i think was one of the comments that came up there um <laughs> and ironically we do have a candle so uh, they're not very good but we do have them as an option right i'm going to take all of these alternate building bro blocks building blocks i think all of those can go into a into a space um probably i'm going to go with this one i think and we'll stick a little bit of you up there, a little bit of you, and maybe a little bit of the alabaster. I don't think we'll ever use that, but that's kind of bulk miscellaneous building blocks. Pumpkin and pumpkin. Yep. 
So yeah, this is kind of working. Um, not entirely sure whether it's the best storage in the world. Now, yeah, I was saying I, I changed the code. Um, and it has to be said, it was not trivial or easy. Um, so anybody who kind of going, yeah, that was an easy cheat. It, it really wasn't. Um, it probably took me, all told, because bear in mind I'm not a Java programmer, I'm not a Minecraft modder, I've never done it before in my life. It probably took me a day, probably seven or eight hours in total, to change one line of code. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am sure there are um, coders out there who are considerably better at this than me. And uh, I am sure that they could have done this in considerably less time than me. But um, as it stands, that was that was that was my limit. That was what I managed to do. Um, the thing that really, really took me a lot of time was um, I'll put that as well. This is miscellaneous odds and odds, odds and sods of tools which will store in a rack. Um, the thing that took me the time was actually building the dev environment in the first place. So, if you don't know about coding and Minecraft and how mods are doing, and to be honest, I thought I knew a reasonable amount, but I'll tell you something, I really, really don't. Um, you are platinum, cassiterite, tetrahedrite, you are all metal. Uh, any more for any more. Platinum is up there. The the way the way it works is um, Minecraft has shipped to you, you Joe public person, uh, is obfuscated. Uh, and what do we mean by obfuscated? Well, we mean it's it's. How do we put this? They have encrypted the code. And why not? After all, it is their mod. They are entitled to do so. But um, you can't actually do much. That's a tool. I'm going to take you. And that is also a tool. So we're going to take you. You can't actually do much with obfuscated code. In fact, you can't do, do anything with obfuscated code except for run it. You know, it's just I don't know. I don't know why that went in there. Uh, okay. So when you come to do Minecraft modding, what you actually have to do is you have to get the obfuscated code, and that is what the MCP or Minecraft Coders Pack is. Is de obfuscated basically de obfuscated Minecraft code, so you can access all the classes and stuff necessary to code it. Now, not only do you need the deobfuscated Minecraft code, you also need the deobfuscated Terra Firmacraft code, so you can access the um, the classes that Terra Firmacraft introduces to the game. Because each mod basically builds on top of the game. You do don't modify, and this is the the thing I think that's probably not so well known is you don't modify the base code you add to the base code that needs to go into the uh, shed doesn't it? any anything else need to go over that needs to go over here as well um, so yeah building the I, I found some instructions um, first couple of attempts at what are you what's what's in you charcoal the first couple of attempts at uh doing this uh, at modding at building the dev environment failed um so i went back eventually i uh, picked up a spare laptop i got kicking around installed that from the ground up as a modding laptop managed to get that working um what else
else up to? Let me start pulling this stuff together because there's all sorts of crap here, isn't he? What have we got? Anything? Oh, Duke Fiber, that needs to go in here. Um, so I got the mod down. Uh, I'd, I'd already identified what I needed to change, so that in itself wasn't a uh, wasn't a major leap of faith. Um, got the mod down, changed it, compiled it, and uh, and it worked. And I'm like, whoa! It only bloody well worked. I, I was pretty much quite amazed. Uh, right, this I'm going to make miss. In fact, this thing here, you're going to be you are going to be miscellaneous odds and sods uh, and we will put really uh, that's it we'll just stick those on that can go up there that is a miscellaneous odd and sod uh, it, yeah it's a technical term it's an odd we'll stick arrows arrows can go in there um actually let me take that back out and we shall stick the arrows in with the tools because they kind of do belong with those and then we shall have over here we will have doors uh, uh any i'll put a bit of that in there as well uh yeah and stuff anything and that can go in as well that'll do you are that can go in there miscellaneous uh i don't think yeah once there's a thing in the way you can't do anything with that so we will have you can be storage vessels uh, when they are done and I need some more things uh, what else have we got oodery I'll stick a bit of copper wire up there you can go for oodery stuff I think that's oodery as well that is not your miscellaneous yeah we're getting there we're getting there been really really hammering these down at the moment um yeah so sorry i, I digress again uh, which i so frequently do um the class seller shelf is defined and within the class seller shelf you define its parameters um you know basically how many slots it has and what you can store in those slots so by default they are set to store let me get this right in my own head they are set by default to store it'll come back to me in a minute it will trust me it will definitely come back to me in a minute oh we've got loads of that haven't we ah <laughs> oh well slot cookable items you see told you it would come back to me so essentially well made one too many oh well essentially what that means is it will only store and it will only ever store cookable items uh you can be a bibliocraft section uh i know that's kind of thing i will stick you into miscellaneous you can go in miscellaneous for now because this is taking altogether too long for these last few bits. Because there are literally only these two chests left. Um, yeah, so what I did is I basically took slots, miscellaneous, uh, slots, cookable items, miscellaneous items, getting distracted, and changed that to slots chest. So basically now the teller shelves can contain anything a chest can. Clever, huh? <laughs> um, now there is only one danger, one worry, and that, and I'm, obviously I need to monitor that. And let me show you and share this with you. Oops, let me pick that up as well. Oh, I need to put those away, don't I? Let me uh, put them away. The point is having a fancy new storage system. If you're not going to use it, get rid of you. So the concern is because I have changed the base code of the sellers mod to make it so it can store other items is that the oh they they are pretty rotten anyway aren't they they probably i'm guessing that let's just trim the, the uh 
so there's no decay on those right so those are olives are free of decay now my guess is that the oh jesus that's nearly gone completely mind you these could probably have been harvested for an age you know these are oh, i've just eaten the decay actually that was kind of gross uh, that's better there's 21 ounces now some of these have almost certainly been in here for years in reality but what we do need to do is as i say just keep our eye on these and make sure that what we've not done is introduced a mechanic which makes this cellar not work so the cheese is in there been in there a while and it's fresh most of these items in here have been of relatively new that's relatively definitely new so yeah we'll keep our eye on it that's the only thing we can do and we'll have a look at the end of the episode see what those olives that i trimmed the uh the decay off have done so today 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 is another day and today i want to do a little work in the house first things first let me get what we've got uh, upstairs specifically i want to do and try and get a little bit of bedroom work done uh, the, this is going to be the bedroom and then we're going to have a study area in here um, and again these these have been suggested uh, if i go oh yeah crow suggested the study uh, and it was Jordan suggested furnish the bedroom house. So, yeah, let's start, shall we? First things first, we need to separate the bedroom from the rest of the house. Well, make this into our bedroom, and then we're going to have that as our study. There we go. All nice and done right i need some stone i need some chiseled stone and i need some non-chiseled stone uh what we can do is we'll break you back down put you away and while we're at it we'll uh we'll find you and stick that away done with that okie doke uh what did i want uh i wanted stone and i don't think Let's see if I can remember where the hell we've uh, indicated that this stuff was stored. Uh, and I can't. Oh, I know where it is. Yes, it's all right. Of course, one of the one of the great benefits to reorganising your storage is you can't remember where you put anything. <laughs> but the stone is down here, so we definitely need one, two, three of those. One, two, three, six of those. But what I could also use, and I don't, that sand, I don't think I've got any, so we're going to need to go and do a little bit of digging to get, or mining to get this, is we need some of this unchiseled smooth stone. So, let me uh, eat. We'll pass the night. I will head out to a convenient place to grab some. Uh, Alright, next morning, um, storage done. So we are going to do the bedroom. Uh, that is our next next job from the list. I haven't had any. I haven't gone through comments from the last one and added those to the uh, late to the latest list yet. So um, no point running over that. Come on. Da -da. never done that before okay you are fresh water that's all right just checking it wasn't salt water or something that i picked up so the last thing before we head out and grab this stone we need to do is our our morning chores and that is of course go and see daisy and the girls and get their uh, buckets of milk uh and not make the mistake of trying to milk the bull you know 
he enjoys it but it's not doesn't doesn't make for a good bowl of cornflakes okay sorry that's uh actually quite gross I'm, I'll I apologize for that one <laughs> uh, okay where are you no you're a bull there you go last one no 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 I did not I didn't right click then all right, I would seem to have just drunk a bucket of milk. Great. Anyway, no matter. Let us head out this way. And if we head out this way, we should see one or two of those wonderful erratic boulders kicking around. They are probably the quickest and easiest way to uh, to find a ready supply of uh, of stone. There's one of these. Now I think there's a, probably another one over this way. I quite like that one. He's, you know, he's on the path, the road. You know, he's he's been around for a while, so we'll keep him. And what we shall do? Ooh, business. Well, first things. The other thing I just need to check while I think about this is: can you actually make a lever in this? Uh, not like that. You can't. Okay, because I need a redstone signal for this lever minecraft ah uh, it's just that okay bang yeah we can that's fine then so we're going to need to get four well, we don't need a lot of them just four of these and they easy they're dead easy to get hold of um you basically you just need to remove all supporting sides from around a block and the block will pop off and you'll get that so if you've not done it before that is exactly how you do it as easy as and then you take those and those and that will give you two well, I would have given you one if you only used the rest ingredients for one, but I, I used ingredients for two because I wanted two. And hello, how are you? Um, yeah, you will get those, and that will give you your Bibliocraft armor stand. As opposed to the Terra Firmacraft armor stand, there is a reason why I want this. The Terra Firmacraft armor stand, you have to place the items on manually. Right, helmet, bang, 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 what are you, mushroom? And uh, the Bibliocraft one has a function which I'm hoping still works in Terra Firmacraft. Because if it doesn't, I've just wasted a whole bunch of time. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to need, let me go and find, uh, what, what have we got in the way of cut lumber that we already have a fair bit of? We've got pine. Good, that will do. We'll go with the pine. These are not just any any older things. This these are genuine Schreiber wardrobes. Pine Schreiber. <laughs> if anybody remembers Schreiber, Schreiber I think I think they actually still are a brand, if I if if I'm brutally honest. Um, right, let me place this now. Will you work? If I put you on and then place that. Bang, 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 bang. So that's how we can achieve an easy armor stand in Terra Um, You know, none of this faffing around with redstone. We're just going to make a lever. We're going to place the armor stand on top of the lever and everything's hidden. Now the next thing we're going to do, if we can do it, is we're going to place our doors there and there. I'm just wondering if there is a... Just have a look at the word, at the, the door options. Oops, not a saw. Uh, cellar door is probably... 
the best that I'm not I can't say I'm overly enamored by it uh, the others have all got those windows in which is a shame so but that gives us wardrobe come to bed bang and get them in the morning put our clothes on close the wardrobe yes see and then we're just for for looks we shall finish this off actually hmm now if I were clever about this uh, if we take chisel 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 and a hammer of course uh, I can't remember what lumber that was in the ceiling uh -huh. Have I got there's a chisel and there's an hammer lovely uh, let me test this with a bit of rubbish wood uh, I'm going to use just a little bit of willow uh, I'm going to throw a little bit of willow on the floor bang uh, put you away we'll grab a couple of these so if I were to place this here and then chisel out let me change the mode um, um, so that is now in stair mode do you respect you do excellent okay right we can break that we can chop you out so, armed with that knowledge, uh, maybe also armed with something, say, like, uh, no, maybe, maybe some of those will do. Or would the alabaster be better? Alabaster might make a better scaffold. I'm just looking at something to scaffold up on. Um, something this game saw, this mod packs all he lacks is scaffolding and unfortunately it ain't going to get it now because we are well beyond the age of uh, things so if I go we're going one two like that and then there's a gap of three to get to that side okay alabaster blah, blah, blah. one two three uh, so we're going there we are going to chisel out that side and we are going to chisel out that side and then we can just as a choice of um, materials for scaffolding wasn't my best idea so then we can take you and place one of you there and one of you there and when that's closed obviously that's quite visible at the moment but if we uh, do this I know we're wasting a a single piece of wood but I will live with that choice and then on this side this side's a lot easier obviously because we haven't got a window there but we can at least extend this down like so so that gives us two built-in wardrobes we've also got storage above the wardrobe within there anyway that's the first bit done now what else do we want what else would any any self-respecting person want in his wardrobe in his bedroom well he'd probably want a door on the bedroom I think I'm guessing just uh, just uh, a guess now what do we think um, tables obviously uh, so we can probably do something like uh, oh, we could do Aspen I think we could 
get into the framed tables. I'm not ashamed. I've not even tried these and whether they were working. Now, let's have a look. Framing sheet. All right, let's go. Let me just check how long we've been going, for starters. I've got to go and do the morning routine with the cows as well. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, well, we're kind of <laughs> at 30 minutes, so we're not going to get a huge amount more done today. But what I would like to do is uh, I would like to get these tables. I'm not going to go with the framed stuff at the moment. Um, just because... I don't think it would really give me anything because that is to allow you to put the materials such as other woods into it and all of the woods we have we can actually make so yeah that would kind of be a little bit daft I'm going to make three of these I think for starters and then if we have a look at a uh, Charles, let's have a look at the chair. All right, seat then, if you're going to be like that. So, we should again be able to make the Aspen seats. That's just a bit of wool, some pressure plate, which is just a couple of anything, um, sticks, and that. That will make that. And then we just need those. So, more sticks, more wool. So, let me let's start off with the wool, shall we? see because I, I want to I'm, I'm kind of weaving wool and or rather storing wool I should say uh, but of course there's a slight problem with that I, I, I want the wool for things other than um, I thought I had another one of those did I leave it in the kiln yes I did in fact, I made two. That's how prepared I was. Wow. <laughs> Obviously, I was so prepared. Um, hmm. Let me uh, let me go and get this stack of sixteen things on the loom. That will give me a little bit of wiggle room to make. There we go. Have we got another stick anywhere? Can't believe normally. I don't even know. Even know normally at this point. I, well, normally I can't always carry sticks around. They are just part and parcel of the daily routine. But clearly, I uh, I, I wasn't this time, which in itself is odd. Right. Let us go and get you out. So we shall place you up there. Oh, okay. We shall place you up there. We shall drop you. We shall pick you up. We shall drop you down there. We'll place that in there. That will give us those and everybody will be happy. Well, at least they will be in a moment once we have put the rest of this and sorted this loom out and put that stuff away. Um, so let me... Uh, let me just, well, let me just remove some of this for now. Go and grab that. So I'm going to get um, a few bits of uh, cloth made. Uh, which, as I was saying, I was really saving that cloth to make more boats so we could make the bigger boat. But, yeah, I, I keep shearing those sheeps. They they are, are, are going. So, uh, yeah, I need to make uh, at least two of these to make the chair. And that will give us a... Uh, hopefully a dressing table and chair well yeah that's why things we're going to need to make more we're going to want to put some carpet in the uh, in there but I think that will probably be something we do next time so I'll just finish off the, getting these cloths and uh, all right so uh, let's get this show on the road we're going to make a aspen well it doesn't matter which one we look at basically that so we're going to do one of those i've already made that we're going to put an aspen in there and we're going to stick you there that gives us our seat we are then going to make a seat back which would be basically this going on so one two three and four 
and then if I want to upgrade you we basically oh no that's framing board uh, there so we basically take you and you pop that together we can head up because it's getting on to board bedtime anyway so we can head up here uh, yeah we'll do that first now I am thinking a dressing table we are going to place against this wall here so we're going to have that going on we're going to uh, get the seat the seats you place are peculiar facing that way and then you put the back on now there was one thing I've got an idea I want to try but um, we'll leave that till next time obviously we're going to need carpet in here and a few other bits and pieces I think some paintings I don't know what paintings are going to be does a standard painting yeah we're into silk cloth again we're not going to faff around with these um, painting frames because I've never figured out how to use them. Maybe I'll have a play. Maybe we'll work it out next time. But yeah, anyway, we're, we're getting there. We're starting to get some decoration. We'll get a nice rug. Maybe a blue. Uh, the easiest rug I've got to do, uh, got is blue because I've got lapis. Uh, oh, I ought to sleep as well, didn't I? <laughs> That's always bonus. Yeah, I know I'm sleeping in my armor again. But yeah, until uh, next time. From the Dawn Chorus and myself. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you soon, and bye for now.